We'll talk about how to uh, identify the height of the JVP uh, using ultrasound. I always use the linear probe because we're looking superficially on the structure, so you want uh, high frequency, high definition probe, which is our linear probe. The way I, I start this is I always start with my patient at 30 to 45 degrees or in the upright position. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at this the, almost the exact same way I'm looking at JVP. Um, I will start out by putting it right on the clavicle and over my patient's um, tr uh, trachea and thyroid. I will identify my tracheal cartilage on the right side of the screen. I will identify, identify my thyroid tissue and then right next to the thyroid, I will always find my vascular bundle. So I'll move out laterally, I'll slide the probe out laterally to identify my carotid. And here, I don't clearly see the internal jugular vein, which will happen frequently. And so at this point, I, if I'm not obviously seeing a second vessel that would, that would be the internal jugular vein laterally to the carotid, I'll ask my patient to bear down in valsal or valsalva. And so they'll do that. And now I know this vessel came out with valsalva and that's gonna be venous flow. And so here I can see that it's already collapsed. So I know that I'm above the height of my JVP to confirm that the last step I will do is pull off pressure just to make sure I'm not artificially collapsing it.